Cups. And there can only be one winner, can't there, for the Aaron Dryden Memorial Surprise Package Award this season. And I'm thinking about the man between the sticks. Vasclav Hladky would surely be my winner because no one was talking about him before the season coming in and starting every single game in the league and being that important. But your look leads me to believe you may have someone no, else. No, no, no. I, I have got someone else written down, but um, Vaz absolutely has to be the winner. I just completely overlooked him when I was looking through the squad list and thinking about this. Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. Christian's foot injury on the eve of the season. In comes Vaz. Um, He'd be in my top three players of the season, no doubt about it. Uh, incredible saves, vital to the kind of style of play, building from the back. Um, yeah, it has to be surprise package. Not no, not anyone would have predicted this, would they, um, at the start of, of the summer? Just out, of interest, just out of interest you, who was your... My other one I wrote down was... I don't know if you'll give this to me, actually, it was Wes Burns. I was trying to think outside the box a little bit. And the reason being, we had a debate around whether which players would be able to step up from League One to the Championship. Might there be some some that might struggle more than others? And um, I think you all mentioned Harness as a surprise package. I thought he might be someone that was sold last summer. He stayed and played good roles off the bench. But Wes Burns was someone who played seven straight seasons in League One. Five for Fleetwood, two for Ipswich. He was 28 going into this season. Um, big outlet on the right-hand side. He's got pace, but by his own admittance at times, it was, I'll get down the right-hand side and I just smash it into the box and low and as hard as I can and lacked a little bit of refinement at times. End product was a bit up and down. I didn't know how that would transfer to the championship. If you remember, there was a bit of a transfer saga around um, Raksaki last summer. Ipswich were looking to sort of bring him in on the right-hand side and, and that's probably tied into why I thought Wes might end up dropping back to right back at some stage because Ipswich were looking at other players in that position. But you look at Wes's contribution this season, the you know, the opening goal against Hull in that 3-0, the Travella goal of the season, equaliser against Norwich. Uh, he was absolutely flying come February. Uh, and then he's come back from injury at the end of the season and got an assist at Hull, an assist at Coventry, the goal at Hull, Huddersfield that, you know, finally you know, realised that it was getting over the line. Um, six goals, four assists. Um, any doubts about him being able to step up from, from League One to the Championship? Well and truly quashed. Um, yeah, so that's that's why I'd put him in that surprise package category. I will 100% give you that, Stu, because you've shown you're working out and that makes perfect sense. And also, it's surprising that he cut his hair. So that uh, adds into the surprise element of that. Um, so, yeah, I can 100% see why you've gone with that one. AJ, have you? Did you forget about Vaz as well? No, I had Vaz for all the reasons that we need to say, and, and I think as well. I'll throw in there. I just had to think about this actually just now. Jeremy Sarmiento would be my second choice with that because he came in, had a few kind of slightly dodgy reviews from uh, West Brom. His first maybe month at the club, yes, he, he had some bright bits, but when he was coming in to start the Preston game jumps to mind just wasn't really out there at all when he was starting games and then again you look towards how he developed at the end of the season how important he was um some unbelievable goals and moments that we'll probably end up touching on um i don't i didn't really expect that maybe kind of end of january start of february time so i, I think that he deserves a mention but you can't look past as for the way that he got dropped in at the deep end and managed to keep some of the most clean sheets in the league, despite the fact he's been playing in a side that does concede quite a few goals. Rossi, have you got anyone else? And if you haven't, can you please say the name in full and then spell it? Um, damn it. Damn it. That is, that is my choice because um, for the reasons already said, um, Vaclav Smooth, uh, which was a great moment of the season. Uh, but yeah, Vaz, I'm not saying his full name because you all know I can't do it. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. He hadn't even played much football. He played just cup games the last two years. And now he's played every single championship game this season. Kept 15 clean sheets. Probably won us 20 plus points this season because of his saves. So uh, yeah, fair play, Vaz. But I can't say your name, my friend. So um, move on. 